This is just one piece of a multi-part course. If you're interested in more, check out tunefiles.com. We're now going to build in the ability to move the pupil around, which can help again with animation, with interaction, and all of that stuff. The first thing we need to do here is come into the different layers and locate the eye. Now in this case, it's going to be within this head's group. And so that'll be something to keep in mind as we move forward. But we can still make this work, so let's just double click on that to go inside. And we now have the three different head poses for this. And we're eventually going to come in here and make this so it's swappable, so we can't see all the heads at once. So for now, we're just going to try to accommodate all the head poses and then create the swap effect here soon. So there are a couple ways we could go about creating eye movements easily. The first is to use Duic. And let me just come in here to head side, since that's going to be the first one here that we're going to focus on. And you can see that we broke this up so that the pupil is separated on its own layer. If you want to create a controller for this using Duic, what you can do is first bring up the Duic panel. And once you have that, you're going to come over here to the Create Controllers section. And here, you'll see we have all these controllers representing different things. And we've seen some of these, the hand, the foot, the skull, all of that represents different things. But we also have one here with an eye. So we could use that if we wanted to. Again, these are just basically graphics and we can assign them to do whatever we want. I'm just gonna click on that and you can see now it creates a new controller called Pupil. It's right here. And you can see the controller is all the way down here. So I can grab it and just move it up like so. And we can place it right there. From here, it's just a simple matter of coming in and assigning that pupil to the bone. So now, if you want him to move the pupil, let's say to the back, let's say there's someone behind him and he, someone says his name and he wants to look back, you could just quickly come in here and just move this now and it will control the pupil. So he can move back like that, you could interpolate it and you could look back and the cartoon could go on from there. And so that's just one thing you can do when working this way. And remember too, we could also come in and zero this out. So go to your rigging options and click on zero. So now your pupil defaults here to zero, just like all your other bones. And then if you need to bring it back, you can always just enter in zero and you are good to go. So that's one way you could control your eyes, again, using Duic without any need for joysticks and sliders. But there's one more way I want to show you here. So let's just remove this pupil controller. We don't need it at the moment. And I'm gonna jump back out here to my heads and this time go into head front. So you can see here, we now have head front and I'm going to control the pupils using joysticks and sliders. Once again, let's come in here and locate the pupils. So we have them right here. Hit P to bring up the position properties and zoom in and go back here to frame zero. And we can hit the stopwatch to create a position default for the pupils. And remember now it's gonna be right, left, up. Let me just hit origin and then go up. And the pupils are above the eyelids. I can change that here in a moment. And then down. So we'll just bring this back down like that. And actually, I'm going to go back here to the up position and just bring those pupils up a little bit more near the top like that. And there you go. That's all we really need. We have the eyes just doing that. So we're going to select the pupil keyframes here and create a joystick. And we can call this one pupil joystick. And we now have the joystick right here. 
So you can see here, we can go in and we can move it at any direction. And the other good thing about this is, is you can set the boundaries. So with the Duic option, we can move the pupils anywhere you want on the composition. But here we set up that boundary. It can't go any further. It can't go outside of the eye bounds. So that way you're not having any weird clipping issues with that. There's only one problem with this setup. And that is, we currently have the eye control set to head front. Which would mean, when we're working like this and we want something to happen with the head, we would have to go into the head, go into head front, and then start interacting with this. Which can be kind of a pain. And so, in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer these controllers over to different compositions and still control it all, but just have easier access to it. To view the rest of this course or gain access to the source files, visit tunefiles.com.